deep tissue listening. I call it deep tissue listening. Because you listen with your eyes, you listen with your ears, you listen with your hair, you listen with the back of your, your, your shirt. When you do a viewpoints work and you start doing, getting into soft focus, I can tell what people are doing behind me because I can feel the barometric pressure change. Or are you going, the scene has to go somewhere. I've got to get the who, the what, and the where out of the beginning. But it's going to have a bad, bad, Okay. Um, great. I need another chair. The concept is this. Thank you. And we're going to sit. And again, <laughs> right now we're just dealing with this. I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not concerned about you using object works in any of these scenes. Don't worry about it. That's not our focus. Right now, our main focus here is going to be on the there point. So someone's going to be sitting here. Does this work? Right? And somebody's going to be sitting here. Does this work? Great. Good. Um, this person in this chair is going to play a character who is just telling this person about their day. Right? They're just telling this person about their day. And that's it. And it's not, and again, it's the same, essentially the same thing, their work day, if you want. Um, it's essentially the same thing as uh, what we were doing before. Uh, it's not like, oh, Jerry's a jerk and he came in 25 minutes. No, we're not, we're not. We're just listening to that person. And when there's a there moment, I want you to engage in, uh, when you are impacted, I want you to engage in a scene with them. But this is what we're looking at right now. Point of view and holding on to your point of view. One, two, we're looking for an emotional content that you're getting out. So it's the question here is, uh, is not, tell me more. What does tell me more mean? You know, it's just, what was it that you, was affected by you? So, when, so when, uh, when we heard Jewel, what was it that got to you, Laura? What was your line of dialogue? Um, I, found, I went to Sammy's camera, and I found the Jewel. Ooh, I want it. It made me stand up. <laughs> I want it. I want it. It's like, no, no, I got it. But it's a really, no, I want it. Give me it. Give it to me. Yeah, yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, new scene. Then we get to the truth. What we're looking for here is that point of view. Because if Laura says, I want it, and, and then uh, Arthur, right? Yes. Arthur says, well, you can't have it. It's mine. And she goes, okay. <laughs> Be we got to go, I know, give it to me. So there's I want it, and then there's, there's what, something that I call creative adjacency. And that doesn't mean that you're right next to being creative. It means next to something that you've created, there's something right next to it, there's something right next to it, there's something right next to it. So the physical example of that would be, um, what's this? What is this? What do I have in my hand? What is this? What? String. string. Great, great, great. OK, I'm putting the string here. What's next to the string? Great. What's, what's next to that? Great. What's right here? A window. What's outside the window? A tree. A tree. What's uh, next to the tree? Great. Oh, did you see that? We did creative adjacency. All those things work together. So it wasn't like, there's a, uh, what's next to the bicycle? A cannon. It's like, what? <laughs> what? There? Mm, that's kind of forced. So it's, I say, so she says, I want it. The next line isn't, I want it. The next line is, what's next to... The next, the line, her, her line after that, I'm being very, very careful not to say next. Her line after that needs to be connected to I want it. And yet there are also times where you get to repeat I want it. I want it. Give it to me. I have to have that. That's mine. The reason that I keep saying those things that's creatively adjacent to the next thing is we are heading towards God is my witness in epiphany. It's going to come. One of you is going to say something that is the there, that is the Kodak, that is the that happened. <clears throat> Great. Good. You got it? We're going to engage in dialogue. Uh, let's get two up. So that's the chair that's telling this person about the day. <laughs> 